All right, everybody, welcome to the Studying Brew, episode 821 on this beautiful Wednesday evening. It's going to be a great one tonight. Tonight is free content night, hard-hitting Wednesday, whatever you want to call it. But tonight's topic is going to be bonds. Bonds. Not James Bond, but bonds. We're going to go over some bonds. There's going to be all kinds of bonds. Municipal bonds, we got that? We can. What do we else we got? What kind of bonds we got, Brandy? We got um, seesaw bonds. Seesaw bonds. Who who is always confused by the bond seesaw bond seesaw and the bonds, guys? That thing has always got me all confused. Where do we go? What am I looking at? How do I know what the yield is? What am I current yield? I don't know. Right? Yep. Always. You know, it's one of those things that you need to know, but it's sometimes it's just like one of those things that just like throws you off. Mm-hmm. So Brandon's going to make it easy. Brandy's going to make it super easy. Speaking of which. My name is Andy. I'm the guy that runs all the back office over here at Kona Butterflies. But you're not here for me. You're here for Brandy. She's got her Series 6, 63, 26, 65, and her Series 7, which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know. So that way you, too, can get a pass notice this Christmas because your favorite carol should be all I want for Christmas is my pass notice. (laughs) (laughs) All I want for Christmas is my securities license. I don't know. Uh, speaking of which, I hope you guys like my uh, my wallpapers that I put up for free over there on the Instagram, on the stories. You can just go ahead and hold your finger down, take a screenshot, and you got a nice little wallpaper for the holidays. Uh, that one is the one I had today. It was all I want for Christmas is my securities license, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, keep that PMA. I got PMA Christmas up today. Uh, just something fun I'm doing for the holidays. So check out our Instagram. Check out all the stuff over there. As always, I always post up reminders. Brandy's got her reels that she has over there. Plus, you can see all the passers on the Kona Hall of Fame, plus their testimonials. So if you don't want to believe me of what we do around here, you can always check that out. Speaking of all the things we do around here, thank you to all the people uh, that reached out after the brew and uh, let me know that they were feeling what I was talking about yesterday about, uh, you know, going through it you know keeping them holiday spirits high keeping those spirits period you know keeping that pma positive mental attitude uh you know positive mental attitude guys it's something you got to work at it's not something i just roll out of bed just like so you know you know some people just like if you guys ever watch garfield you ever notice garfield and then there's Odie, right the dog who's delirious with happiness and just walks around with his tongue out and just like stupid happy that's not me that's not me at all. I'm more of the Gar- Garfield, I would suppose. But I work really hard to get to that OD level. I get real. <laughs> I get. I want to get to that level where it just everything makes me happy, right? Mm-hmm. Positivity. It's a choice. It really is. I don't care what it is. You got to keep that positive positivity. Whatever you have in your mind, whatever it is that you are focused on, is exactly how you're going to feel and how you're what you're going to do. That's it. Think of it. Think about it. Whatever it is that you're, you know, manifesting is what you're going to get is what's going to happen. If all you keep thinking about is all the, well, I don't have this. Well, I don't got that. Or this is going to suck. Or this is going to be bad. Or this Christmas is blah, blah, blah. Right. The pressure's on always unnecessarily in December. People feel like there's some sort of weird standard in which you have to live at to have some crazy hallmark you know, unrealistic Christmas and we need to like go into deep debt for some sort of reason, sort sort of reason, right? That's all made up. That's all made up. That's a fake Christmas, guys. Yep. You don't have to bow down to that and you don't have to get down in the dumps or be depressed about it. There's lots of things that Christmas is for whatever your creed, religion, whatever it is. Uh, You know, if you're in, uh, you know, you're Jewish and you're in Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you you that you are, you know, however Christmas is, maybe it's just a, a fat guy in a red suit for you. I don't I don't know, whatever it is. I'm just saying positivity can be your Christmas. You know what I mean? It's whatever you make it to be. If you want it to be, you know, a bad Christmas because all you can afford is top ramen and you only got a hundred dollars to spend on your three kids. You can choose to make that, you know, feeling be the worst and have a really sad, you know, and be bummed about it. Or you can take it and run with it and have one of the best Christmases you ever had. Guys, that was us. That was us. 
One year, I barely had enough money to keep the heat on. Literally. Brandy and I were literally in overcoats, freezing our butts off because we didn't have that. And we only had 100 bucks and three kids. And you know how kids want everything. We made that Christmas amazing, and it didn't cost us. We made that Christmas because we gave everything that was our time, and we were present, and we were positive. And we did things, and there's tons of things you can do for free and make an enjoyable holiday. The church, whatever. We had, we focused more on family. It was one of the best holidays ever. They still talk about it. And they had no clue how poor we were. None. Zero. You know why? Because I didn't walk around hanging my head, and I didn't start giving that to them. Because I didn't want it in my head. It's the same thing, and I'll bring it back to studying. It's the same thing with studying. It's the same dang thing. If all you do is walk around with your head hung, head hung, hanged low, and you're just sitting there walking around like Eeyore going, I'll never get it. I was never going to happen. I'm not going to understand this stuff. It's so overwhelming. Guess what? It's always going to be that way. Always. Always. You made it that way. It will be that way. Mm -hmm. If you believe in yourself, the way we believe in you, you'll get this thing done next week. It ain't no thing. We have all the tools for you guys to make it no thing. We have such an amazing study guide. Guys, it's literally the key words on everything. Instead of a 486, 100, you know, 486, 100, 486 page, you know, LEM for the SIE, it's only 68 pages. Why? Because you don't need to know all that other stuff. We just had a pastor and just basically said exactly what we were talking, what I'm talking about. Test taking techniques, guys, helps you read the questions so you don't get lost. All the other stuff we offer our members, tutoring, all that stuff keeps you focused. The positive mental attitude keeps you in the game. All that stuff. So much time is just wasted sitting there on those other programs where you just sit there and read. You don't get any of that. And you just start feeling bad because you're by yourself or you're just feeling like it's overwhelming. Guys, you got to change up your program. Change it up. Change it up. And if you're using us and you feel that way still, you ain't using us. You're not really doing our program because we don't believe in that. You got to be coachable. And you got to have a positive mental attitude. So as we go through this next week or, you know, a few weeks and we get through this uh, session tonight, if bonds has been kicking your livid, you know what, in the assets and you just can't stand it, right? That's the feeling you have. I want you to look at bonds tonight differently. I want you to be open to it. I want you to look at it. I want you to be like coachable and take your stinky attitude and set it to the side. Choose choose to learn make the choice be positive about it be like you know what i'm gonna listen to this lady in her blonde hair see what she's got tonight you know what i mean who knows maybe it'll help me out right yeah all right let's get this thing going brandy mm -hmm. I, I feel like december is always the heaviest is always the heaviest and i want you guys to lighten it lighten the load Make it easier. Studying brew. If you guys, this is our 30 minutes of free. If you haven't joined us for all our awesomeness that we do for the members, check it out. Scan the QR code. Hit the links. Um, you can also on Patreon, you can join for free. You get all the studying brew. You get all my announcements that, you know, sent to your email. If I do have, uh, you know, YouTubes or whatever, uh, I post it over there. You can grab them. You can be a member on our Patreon for free if you want. And then you can just go ahead and upgrade at any time. So they have a great, you know, little feature where you can follow us for free and you can get all that information and then join in whenever. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to pay, but you can uh, you won't get any of the course material and all the stuff that we have locked up. But uh, there is some things that we're going to be giving away and we might be doing uh, for everyone. Uh, so you might want to stay tuned. Um, but we do have all our online on demand videos, audios live sessions, tutoring, all that available, study guides, uh, the Kona community on Discord, scan the QR code, hit the links in the chat. If you want to text me, hit me up on Instagram, Telegram, Patreon, Discord, 
That's where you hit me at, 866 Hey Kona. I'm going to have to call you back like it was 1992 because I don't get text messages over there. Uh, some of you weren't alive in 92. I'm just going to let you guys know. there was Your phones didn't do anything except call people then. I know it's crazy. That's all the phone ever did. It was just call people. I know. Mind-blowing. <laughs> right? Oh, my goodness. All right. We got live session reminders for tomorrow, guys. Series 6 is going to start off the day. It is the topic that everybody needs to have. Honestly, if you're studying anything at all in securities, it doesn't matter if you're studying the SIE. Suitability, suitability, suitability is something that you have to carry, not just for the Series 6, but for the rest of your securities career. Mm -hmm. It is the one thing that is the most important thing throughout your whole financial career. Suitability is the most important thing you do as somebody who's licensed. Mm -hmm. You have to be, you have to know and follow the suitability. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing that makes it legal. So if you are around and you got the membership, just be on there. You don't need to take crazy notes if it's not your exam, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to listen to it. It doesn't hurt to hear it. It doesn't hear, it hurt to hear how Brandy breaks it down and makes it simple. I heard it was a great session, so I would definitely be in there. This is a replay from Tuesday. Uh, and then we didn't do SIE as options. Now I say replay, but Brandy is actually doing it all new, all fresh, you know, so all questions from the, from the, from the members, you know, whatever they ask, you know, it's, it's unpredictable. Yeah. Who knows? It might be something you were like, you know what? I had that same question. I didn't know that. Awesome. Options, 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 SIE. That is another one. So tonight you're getting bonds tonight. We're getting options. It is the two things that I wish people that are studying the SIE would spend less time in but they are the most occupied yes. with. Yeah. They go, that's the one I don't understand, Brandy. That's the one I can't get. That's the one that like, always hurts me. And I say, let's make it easier. Yes. X. And then we tell you, don't spend so much dang time on there because there's like four questions. Exactly. Or one. Yeah, one it's crazy. Mm -hmm. People spend way too much time. So that's what we got going in the live sessions tomorrow. The fun starts at 8 a.m. Hawaii, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. in the East. SIE. 12 p.m. Hawaii, 2 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. East. All right. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I wish you would. I tell you what, when they let me know and they give me a picture, well, they give me a picture and they let me know, but I have not got the permission to put it out yet, but I'll let you all know. Guess what? We added another one to the Kona Hall of Fame. We got a passer. Yes, we do. We got a passer. And tonight, it's pretty awesome because we got an, an OG. If you're in Primerica, this is like one of the top OGs of Primerica. They got fully licensed. They got their principal's license. Sorry, already fully licensed, but principal's license. No, what was it? Or 63. Dang it. Fully licensed. I couldn't remember. Brandy's been working with her. Uh, Siri 60. She don't even work with me. That's how a top dog she is. She don't even work with me. Uh, she just calls me if there's technical problems. Uh, but if you are in Primerica and um, and I know when I was like, you know, when I was really studying the, the Primerica, you know, and listening to all the audios and stuff, and I still do uh, Hector Lamarck. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, one of his downlines is uh, Linda McGrumman. Mm -hmm. uh, Linda McGrumman is now fully licensed, folks. Uh, SNSD Linda McGrumman. Congratulations on getting your Series 63. You are now fully licensed. Yeah. I can't wait to see what you do with this. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, fully licensed, securing, you know, her and her husband's uh, book of business. Yeah. Uh, and, exactly. and securing the legacy and the and what they've built, uh, which is impressive and just really putting it out there and really, uh, you know, getting it done and showing the way. So congratulations on getting it done, Linda McGrumman, on getting your Series 63. What did she say helped her pass? Honestly, guys, um, she did have to go through two different Q banks, but it, it, at the end of the day, it was just the techniques. It was just looking at the questions differently than what we've been taught. My favorite quote. What did she tell you? I honestly don't know. <laughs> she said um, she was scoring pretty good in the in the second Q bank. She goes, but um, I don't still don't know half the stuff that was on the <laughs> exam. What does that tell you guys? I'm telling you the system is the system that we teach over here. I mean, we're teaching people how to pass exams without necessarily knowing everything. Yes. And once you learn that, it makes everything so much easier. Yes. Free your mind. Just saying. You yes. don't you don't necessarily have to know everything. No. Speaking of not knowing everything but understanding enough to pass. Yes. Let's get on to the bonds. Yeah. All right, everybody, let's get on to the lesson. Let's get those notes, let's get those papers, let's put that 
that desk down in the downright position because we are about ready to get some learning. So bonds, Brandy, what do you want to talk yeah. about? So guys, um, this question was posted on the message board and I was like, on the discord. Yes, on the discord. And I was like, we should talk about this question because this person who posted this was like, I know this stuff. I picked B because we know I know this. This is, you know, interest rates, dollar signs, they're inverse, totally get it. How come I was wrong? So I said, well, let's break down the keywords, right? Let's break down the keywords. So um, as you guys can see, we're talking about, you know, anytime you guys see the word yields, you see interest rates, right? And you're talking about bonds, you should always just draw the seesaw. Now, I know you've said this, and I know most people may have not, may or may not have heard this, but in the in the exam room, you didn't draw the seesaw as much, but you did but it you did it with your arms like I you were an airplane. I did it uh, with my arms like I was an airplane. I literally went, okay, this is par. Well, I didn't, I guess, elbows because I don't want to hit the people next to me. But I did, okay, here's my elbow. This is par. And then if my dollar is up, then I'm going to go down the slide. And if my percentage is up, I'm going to walk up the slide. I know I just called it a seesaw, but I visually whatever works for you sometimes you know it's not the the visual that works for you maybe it's the kinesthetic it's the moving your arms or feeling it guys it's about what your brain needs exactly what makes sense to you how are you learning this how are you retaining it how are you how are you visualizing what's going on right yeah that's all right all right so this is the seesaw, right? We, we've we seen this. We've seen this in LEMs. We've seen this in our study guys. We've seen this in our lives. We've seen this in our courses. Um, we, we see this a lot, right? We, we've seen this. And and, this, and everybody teaches this. And this is the, the seesaw. And this is, in fact, something that actually moves. I did try to pull the, our drawing. And it wasn't working in the, the animation. Movie. wasn't working Yeah, either. so I, I have to um, um, get that animated again but basically guys this is an actual teeter-totter this is an actual seesaw um this th that's the best way to do it they're like, outlawed now for all you youngsters you yeah didn't get to have this so as long as the bond is in existence and interest rates you guys you guys have been hearing that the fed has been changing the interest rates in 2020 due to the pandemic they dropped them now in 2022 to curb i know it's 23 but in 2022 they started increasing the interest rates to curb inflation so those are the interest rates that change. Does that make sense? The interest rates that change are the ones that the Fed changes. Yeah, we're all familiar with this, right? 2023, we've heard it a million times. Interest rates, interest rates, interest rates, right? Mm -hmm. We're either we're uh, probably all frustrated and sometimes infuriated with it, right? Mm -hmm. and, and But we recognize what the effects are. Exactly. <laughs> we all really do, right? I know I joke about it, but, you know, right to be able to put $200 worth of groceries in the trunk and now it can sit on your passenger seat. Right. But the coupon rate, guys, look, we all have gotten a, long, a loan, um, whether it be a credit card, whether it be a car payment, whether it be a house payment. We all have we all know how debt works, right? Um, you're going to go borrow money. Here's the interest rate in which you're going to go borrow money. And guys, that interest rate never changes. Once you're locked in. Once you once you have that loan, that, that interest rate does not change. Now somebody's gonna say, well, my interest rate on my house changed. Yes, because you refinance. And anytime you refinance, you get a new loan. Anytime you take out equity from your house, you get a new loan. So you basically pay off the old loan and get a new loan, right? So your interest rate of an existing debt does not change. And bonds are exactly the same way. That coupon stated rate, fixed rate, nominal rate, whatever we want to call it, does not change. And that's why it goes into the triangle. Okay. But we just talked about all of this stuff. But we talk about, we go here and we're talking about inverse relationships, same directions. So let's break down these answers, right? Let's find out why this person got this question wrong. Okay, so uh, does not change in response to interest rate movements, has an inverse relationship to current interest rate movements, moves in the same direction as interest rate movements, right, as the current interest rates, or will always 
be equal to the coupon yield. We know this is usually not true, but I'm still going to draw that equal sign. Okay. And the question says, once issued a corporate bond's current yield. Okay. I like to draw out things. I'm a visual person, right? So we know current yield is a percentage, right? We know prices are a dollar sign. We know interest rates are percentage signs, right? Let's go back to that seesaw just real quick. And if you didn't, now you know. You know. Guys, interest rates are always on the right side. In fact, if you guys are members and you guys have seen my bond videos, I like to say that the interest rate, the, the percentage sign always has to go underneath the trees because they always forget their sunblock. So they always have to go under the trees. Always. The percentage sign is always on the right side. It's always on the yield side. It's always on that side of the seesaw. Yeah. The percentage sign seems to be from Ireland. Yes. Where they don't get any sun. But on the left side, dollar sign. Now this person always remembers their sunblock. So they could be out in the sun. They don't have I to I like be to think trees. they're brown and they're down. <laughs> right. So guys, if we just look at the seesaw and we're talking about interest rates, which are percentage signs, and we're talking about yields, which are percentage signs, don't they move in the same direction? Yeah. Let me explain. Okay. My interest rate goes up. Yep. My bond value goes down. My yield goes up. Let's draw it. Somebody, the person who posted this said, please put a number on this so I, it makes sense to me. Example, you have a 5% coupon. Interest rates are 8%. You purchased your bond. Your current market value for your bond is $800. What's your current yield? Okay. So we're going to put numbers on this, guys. Don't freak out. We're just going to plug this in. Okay. Ready? 5% goes into my coupon triangle. 800 is below par. So I'm going to put that right there. By the way, par is always what? Even on the exam? Even on the exam. Par is always a thousand. Interest rates. Even if it's not stated, especially if it's not stated. Yeah. If it's not stated, guys, you can go ahead and assume. 5%. I accidentally erased the U. Guys, five, um, 8 percent is higher than 5 percent. So guess where our yield is? Follow up that line right here. Do, 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 The current yield is right there, which is higher than 5 percent. You don't need to have the number of what the number is, right? It's just that the fact that it's above. And that it moves in the same direction. Interest rates are up. Current yield is up. Boom. That's it. Now, for those of you who can't let it go and need to do the math, all you do is go like this. $50 divided by 800 and you get 6.25%. Isn't that higher than 5%? Yes. There you go. That's why the math part is not necessary. Yes. So It's the concept. Guys, if the dollar sign is down, percentages are up. If the dollar sign is up, percentages are down in every case. And I'm going to warn people who love math who just love math. Look, it's great that you love math, but remember it's conceptual. It's not a math exam. Meaning if you can save time by not doing the math, you need to do that because this is a timed exam. Anywhere you can save time and just realize that all you need to know is it's above 5% and it moves in the same direction. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all you needed to know. That answers the question. So what you guys see here, is this you have the visual of the seesaw you have um numbers that show you your example and then you have your symbols down below that all say the same thing just three different ways and i know it seems like this would take a long time but on the exam how would you write this out brandy just so they can see like how would you really do this in the exam how would i really do this yeah you wouldn't write all this so you guys see my little arrows and my dollar signs right so literally this is how i would do it on my exam okay i'm gonna erase all this stuff Right, right, right. Because, you know, we can't write on the screen, right, on the test. And we get, like, those really bad markers. 
A, B, C, D. They call them Sharpies, but they're really dullies. <laughs> um, inverse, same direction. And then, first of all, that says always, and it says equal. So I'm, you know, so I'm probably going to cross off the not true of the D, right? And then I see that, and then I go, okay, um, this is percentage and dollar signs, right? That's the inverse relationship. Uh, once issued a corporate bond current yield, well, current yield is a percentage. <laughs> I drew a happy face. Current yield is it, and then interest rates are percentage. They're the same for the answers. That's how I would have done it on my paper. If I had to, I probably would not have drawn this out. I probably would have gone like this. So if I'm par value and interest rates change, I'm going to change my interest rate. And then, oh, my yield's in the same side. <laughs> there you go. Because it would go both. Yeah, because it goes in the same direction. Same direction. Whether it's up or down. Same direction. And that's all you needed to know. But why do they word it like that? Because it knows that it will throw you off. Exactly. Because they know that some of you can't visualize things unless it has a number. Exactly. You got to know the concepts, not the math. You got to see the visual here. And the reason why she did the seesaw and all that stuff. So that way you can kind of visualize why it would be in the same direction. How you get that to that. Exactly. But in reality, you just saw what she would do. So you have two different ways of understanding this information. Mm -hmm. There you go. Follow the easier way. Take the simple route. Stop putting numbers on things that don't have to have it. Don't do the math. Know that you need to know the concept and don't muck it up with overthinking. Yep. Keep it simple. Always put that percentage sign under the tree. Don't overthink. Nope. That's the biggest message. Exactly. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. All right, everybody. How'd you like that for free for at least the cost of your internet? A nice, quick, simple lesson so that way you can go get your study on because consistency is key consistency and discipline discipline to be consistent consistent to be disciplined guys without those you can't do it you got to want to achieve anything you got to have the two of those and you can just about achieve anything you want be consistent be consistent be consistent and be okay with failing because it's the only way to success if you get a low grade figure out why we have a we have a thing in our own members area. We always talk about why right, why wrong. Guys, there's ways to learn how to study this stuff. If you're lost on all this and you're not a member, I would join up. I would definitely be on these studying brews. We not only just tell you guys like the content, but we give you the tools on how to study this as well. So go get yourself a study session right now. Go get a quiz. Go apply it. Keep a positive mental attitude. We got live sessions happening tomorrow. We got content and techniques tomorrow as Brandy goes through six different uh, questions. Uh, may or may not be six different exams. I don't know what she's going to do. We're going to be a little bit more of a round robin tomorrow. And then we'll just uh, go through that information. But you don't want to miss out because all this stuff's going to tie together what we've been talking about all week on the Studying Brew. Same bat time, same bat channel. Until then, everybody stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep the positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody have a great night. Thank you guys so much for being on. We super appreciate you guys. Don't forget to lock in those keywords in your next quiz. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one.